Hey everybody, Joe with Joe's Phenomenal here and welcome to another video. Today we're going to be reviewing the brand new Ninja Foodi Power Blender Ultimate System. Is it better than their previous kitchen system? Let's get into this and find out. Well, let's start with what you get in the box. You've got your 1600 watt base that has pulse features, IQ settings, and also a dial on the IQ for different specialized things that you might be doing with this blender. Depending on what attachments you have connected here, you'll be able to light up some different options here on the wheel. You have a timer here that will show you either how much time is remaining on your program or how long you've been using the device for, one or the other. Here we got your main lid. Pretty standard stuff. It's got a covered pour spout and it's got this metal ring in here that'll help alleviate spillage when you're pouring. Also, you have Ninja's proprietary blade assembly. Very effective, but also very sharp and very easy to cut yourself with. So when you clean this, you gotta take extreme caution with that. In addition to the main blade, you get a dough blade as well. You get a spindle, and this is actually for the food processing discs. We'll go ahead and put that in here now. And you have two food processing discs that come with the system. This one right here is for grating. And the second one here is reversible. On one side, you have a slicer. And if you flip it over on the other side, you have shredders. The way these work is they just go right on top of the spindle here. And once you have this set up, if you're gonna use the discs, then you would use the second lid that comes with the system, which is your food processor lid. This lid goes right on top of the same pitcher here, locks in. And when you have this lid on here, you get locked into the disc position so you can't accidentally damage your machine. On the food processor lid, you have your pusher here, which is actually two parts. You got your main pusher and you can actually pull this out here and you can actually pass through a smaller pusher in case you have smaller things that need to go through here like carrots and celery and things like that. And the way you'd use that is you go ahead and have your main pusher in, then you drop your product in and you'd use the second pusher down in the top and it'll keep everything lined up and straight so you don't end up with weird cuts and stuff when you're using the discs. This system right here is actually a direct upgrade to Ninja's BN801 Professional Plus system. And with that system, you actually end up getting two pitchers. You have your main pitcher that just handles regular blending duties and they included a second pitcher that only handles food processing. That second pitcher has your main processing blades and also the dough blade and its own lid. The problem to me with that system is that it just has a regular lid. It doesn't have any support for any types of discs or anything like that. And in my opinion, if you have a food processor that can't slice, grate, and shred, then you're gonna end up having to buy another food processor anyway. So to me, that system was always a little bit lacking. And I should know because I owned that system for quite a while and I ended up having to buy a dedicated food processor to take care of all the duties that that kitchen system couldn't handle. In addition to all that, you get a single serving cup, which is actually a really big single serving cup, along with a lid here that can be screwed on, that's got a lockable spout, a storage lid, a single serving blade assembly, and that just screws right into the bottom of the cup here. And then this can be used directly on your blender in single serving mode. When you turn that on, it changes all your presets and you pick up one extra setting called extract. In addition to the regular single serving cup, you also get the XL smoothie bowl maker. Now the way this works is this screws onto that same single serving blade assembly, and this allows you to make things with a lot less liquid. Things that would normally get stuck in here because they're too thick. This is really good for making things like smoothie bowls. Then what you do is just go right on here. You would go ahead and start your bowl, and while it's going, you actually turn this the opposite way of what the blades are turning, and it would keep everything coming down so nothing gets stuck up here in the top and everything gets blended evenly. When I first saw these, I thought it was really gimmicky, but it turned out that they work really, really well. If you already own a Ninja Foodi Power Blender, the differences are that this is probably a tiny bit bigger, unless you got it from Costco, and then some of these things would go away. So you wouldn't have that, you wouldn't have this, you wouldn't have this, that top would be gone, and you'd basically be left with this stuff right here. The cost difference really isn't all that much, and on paper it looks really, really good. So we were hoping that all these other attachments would work pretty well, so the increase in price would be worth your money. To check this thing out, we did several tests using our Ninja Professional Food Processor and our regular Ninja Foodi Power Blender as baselines. And then we used those results to compare directly to our Power Blender Ultimate system, just to see how close it could get to those dedicated appliances. First, we decided to go ahead and test all the food processing duties. First up, we did a little bit of pizza dough in both machines, being really careful to keep all the ingredients and measurements exactly the same. And what happened was actually a little bit surprising. The Foodie Power Blender Ultimate System actually made a little bit better pizza dough than our dedicated food processor did. 
In fact, the Power Blender was actually a little bit better balanced than our food processor was. You can see right here that the food processor is bouncing around a little bit as the dough gets closer to being done. The Power Blender stayed nice and even and actually sounded much better too while it was doing it. Both produced really great dough. And at the end of the day, after both doughs had risen and everything else, it was really hard to tell the difference between the two. Next, we went ahead and put the ultimate system to the test. We shredded some cabbage and some sharp cheddar cheese. Then we grated some Parmesan. And then we used the slicer and sliced up some zucchini and carrots. And in every single one of those tests, the results were actually fantastic. If you look at these discs, this one actually is what we use in the food processor. And this one here is actually from our Ninja Foodie. And if you look at the size difference, there is a really massive difference in size here. We were thinking this was gonna be a lot better, but it turns out they both handled the job equally well. And the Ninja Foodie Ultimate System actually powered through these jobs a lot easier. The sharp cheddar and Parmesan are actually pretty hard and you can kind of hear the food processor straining just a tiny bit, but the Foodie Power Blender flew right through those tasks like it was nothing. Keep in mind that the peak power of the system is up to 1600 watts now. The previous system was 1400 and Ninja's professional food processor I believe is 1200. So definitely you can see that power at work. Also the smaller blades didn't seem to affect how fast the job was getting done. Both machines handled it in almost the exact same amount of time. And the results actually looked a tiny bit better with the Foodie Power Blender. Just looking at the difference with the cheese, you can see that the Power Blender's cheese just came out looking just a little bit fluffier and a little bit lighter. And that was pretty consistent across the board. There were no differences in the sliced vegetables though. They looked identical on both machines. One thing though, since the Ultimate System does use the one pitcher, when you're doing processing duties, it's not quite as easy to get all the contents out of the pitcher as it would be with a food processor because food processors typically have short, wider containers. Honestly though, that's a really small gripe, but I did think it was worth mentioning to you. For our blender test, we took our Ninja Foodi Power Blender and set it up next to the power blender that comes with the Ultimate System, measured out some ingredients and blended a couple of single serving smoothies. And what we ended up with were two smoothies that finished exactly at the same time and blended exactly the same way. Pretty much what you'd expect because both of them are Ninja Foodi Power Blenders and the one included with the Ultimate System is just slightly more powerful. Also, we went ahead and used the XL Smoothie Bowl Maker for both. And once again, both were identical again. Hey, by the way, if this is your first time here and you wanna learn some cool new recipes, get some great kitchen tips and tricks and all sorts of other kitchen related things, then start now by subscribing to the channel and clicking the notification bell so you never miss a thing. So what do we think? Pretty fantastic, Ninja. They have put together a kitchen system that can realistically delete one small appliance from your countertop. And for those of you with smaller kitchens, that is a big plus. It handles all the blending exactly the way you think it would, but the big surprise for me is actually the food processor. That did really well. It looks like Ninja produced a real winner here. If you'd like to learn a little bit more about Joe's Phenomenal, you can check out a couple more of our videos or check us out online at joesphenomenal.com. Hey, I thank you so much for taking a little bit of time out of your busy day to watch our video and hope to see you back here again really soon. So once again, my name's Joe and I hope you have a phenomenal day. Take it easy.